and welcome to art day happy monday time to do some artwork today i'm not drawing something as you can see here i have other supplies that i want to work with today because i have to make three greeting cards and i thought well why not do them here so i did take my wonderful box of uh, craft greeting cards that I used for my Christmas cards last year and I uh, do have three envelopes, three card bases and three um, papers here that uh, go inside the card where I can write my notes um, and these cards are going to be for my new neighbors so if you haven't seen any of my talker clocks recently let me tell you i'm uh, moving soon ish um don't know the date yet but uh, i'm um well i signed the lease for my new apartment and here's the audio Oh, I forgot to add the audio. Now the audio is there. Now everything is not as horrible anymore when you listen. Uh, I have got to tell you in a, in a minute, but let me <coughs> uh, finish this story first. So um, I'm moving soon-ish. I'm guessing somewhat end of February, beginning of March. So uh, that will definitely go into the theme for the cards. But um, the reason I'm making those cards uh, is, well, when you're moving and you're moving into a new apartment, at least in Germany, you bring your own kitchen, you bring your own lamps, you bring your own pictures to hang on the wall and any other furniture. So guess what? I'm going to be drilling in walls and ceiling to hang up my lamps and uh, hang up my pictures and furniture and such. So it's going to be a fun day for my new neighbors and just to warn them <laughs> at what day they're going uh, gonna have to expect a little louder um a little louder uh, environment there because I'm moving somewhere really quiet, which is really good for filming. Um, I'm uh, yeah, I'm. I want to warn them, and I want to put a little greeting card with um, a nice little note saying, "Hey, I'm your soon-to-be neighbor." Here's the fair warning, it's gonna be really loud on day whatever blog because I'm moving in that day. Fair warning and uh, hope all is going well. So I wanna do that um, and I thought I'm going to have a spring theme because again, end of February, early March, I should have some spring weather here. So I'm taking watercolor paper, it's just some um, <coughs> sorry, just some um, uh, scraps of watercolor paper and I'm going to put down this little very used um, stencil here and I'm, I want to work with ink tents and maybe a neo colors but mainly ink tents pencils today to make a little something something like this so Let's say this goes onto the front and then you have the stencil there and just have a little cherry blossom um, twig there. Because actually in front of my new living room there is a huge cherry tree. So I'm going to have a lot, a lot of cherry blossoms uh, at my new apartment. So here's why I'm doing the project right now. Uh, <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I uh, do some measuring before I start penciling and uh, then I can tell you why I'm really brain farting currently or uh, that I am brain farting currently. But I'm just going to measure the height of the card, which is 14.8 centimeters and I want to have about this size so there's a centimeter of a 
you can see the card base a centimeter all around. So that would be 12.8. I want to have a picture of 12.8. And uh, since I want to tape this down, um, I can actually go... S <laughs> yeah, I have to tape it down before I put down the stencil. One um, piece of paper at a time. So I want to have a pretty nice border. Uh, let's tape it in a way that you can see well. And now I'm going to measure 12.8 from the point the tape meets the uh, or the tape ends. That would be... That would be a five, six, seven, eight. That would be here. And um, well, I'm gonna put tape down again, hoping that I have a straight line. And that would be number one. And I'm gonna repeat this pretty much three times. I want all of those. <coughs> Sorry, all of those um, paintings on front of the greeting cards kind of similar. Um, do, coming next is the stencil. And I'm not going to wet my paper while I have the stencil on top. But I just want it for the outlines. And that is why I decided to work with Inktense pencils today. I'm just going to go in with some colors and uh, then take away the stencil and paint the rest of the <coughs> of the um, branch. I just want to have a, somewhat of a guideline there to make things easier. So here are the pencils and I'm quickly going to... Again, the magnet is falling off. Got to repair that. Maybe I got time later today to do so. <laughs> and from all those pencils, I want uh, brown, pink, um, and a somewhat... Oh, I could actually just go with brown, pink, green for now. Because I want to, um, I want to have pinkish cherry blossoms, and where there is going to be white in the blossoms, I'm gonna put down a little green to know. Okay, this is where the shape goes because there's gonna be a little green in the background or a blue maybe. Ah, I like green for for the first um, for the first. Um, Oh gosh, what's it called? Painting. So um, that leads me, that actually leads me very well into the next story. And I'm choosing my colors. I'm going to take apple green. I'm going to take the 700. That should be fuchsia, if I remember. Yes, I'm totally good at remembering some things. And I need a brown. I need a cold brown or a dark cold tone. I'm actually, I like this one here. It's um, kind of a black tone. It's a sepia ink, but it has a brownish tint. <coughs> so, uh, as I had just um, started telling, and I'm, by the way, just sharpening my pencils and then just putting down some pigment there. So, I'm... It's actually Tuesday today that I'm filming. I'm filming one day later than I usually do. Because yesterday was uh, really a very weird day. Um, I did have a painless m weather migraine. So just being super, super exhausted. So I'm just going to draw all around those plastic pieces here on my stencil. I have to hold it because it wants to move. I definitely have to buy a 
a new one of that if I want this stencil again. But I'll, hmm, I'm not sure yet if I want to have this um, design again or if I want something new maybe. But well, anyway, um, I was having a really shitty day yesterday. Excuse my French. Um, cause, well, I had a painless weather migraine. Um, I don't have them very often, but when I have them, they're, they're really there, you know? So, here's going to be the white, by the way, that's why I'm putting down the green. And I think I want to have the green outlines done first before I put down some pink. Just quickly going around. So I didn't film yesterday, which is why I filmed today on Tuesday. Um, but that screws with, with my, um, with my brain a bit, I have to say. I'm very, I'm, I function really well when I have a routine, when I have a schedule and repetition. Um, and, well, when I have to move something that I do regularly, so not like an appointment going out or something, that doesn't bother me at all. But say, uh, when I have to change my filming day um, on short notice, so overnight, or just waking up and deciding during the day that I'm not going to film, um, that screws with my ability to remember things. Um it screws with my sleep schedule um, and it's, yeah, it, it just screws with my overall health. So I'm going to remove this stencil now and I am going to bring in the pink on these uh, petals here. And I'm gonna have the sensor next to me to um, remember the shapes. I could have actually just left it on and have the rest of the shapes be uh, circled with, <coughs> sorry, the pink, but well, let's have some freestyle work kind of thing going on here some drawing, some painting, not just stencil and copy. Anyway, um, I do seem to have a bit of trouble with remembering things like activating audio equipment to record the audio in a nice quality instead of the overhead camera being the only audio recording device here. Though I do the same thing every time I film. But just because it's another day um, and not my usual filming day, I'm, yeah, my, my brain thinks it doesn't have to remember everything, which is not great. I don't like these kind of things. So, a little more here. And then down. <coughs> the reason I'm working with ink tents on this first layer, by the way, I haven't decided yet if I want to bring in the um, the uh, neo colors, which are water soluble crayons. Uh, the reason I brought in the ink tents is that they are permanent once this paint is dry, so I can go around those blossoms and wooden twiggy parts here later on without the fear of smudging anything when I want to bring in the background. So let's start liquefying pigment. 
I'm just starting with the brown. So yeah, um, I'm still having somewhat of a migraine today, but this at this time the headache is definitely present, so it's not a painless migraine, which uh, just pretty much um, has all the treats of a migraine, just no headache, but it is a little heavier on the um, vertigo. So yesterday was a really fun day to be upright, not. So I pretty much sat or laid in bed all day long and watched <laughs> TV shows on Netflix. It's, yeah, not the greatest thing to do, but I guess it's fine. I can handle it. So let's have in those blossoms. I'm going for the pink only so far. I'm gonna take care of the green later on. I will liquefy that pigment once I take care of the background. I'm not trying to go for the green at this point, but I want to dry this off once I have. Um, my base coat in and I want to bring in a bit of a darker pink, almost a purple <coughs> for shading. I'm actually like I, th I think I said it in last art day, if not it was definitely in the last talk o'clock that I'm looking forward to spring so much, you have no idea. Um, it's the late winter time here it, where everything's just gray and rainy and at one point you just have enough and I'm definitely at this point that I have enough I I could definitely go with a little bit of sunshine and nicer weather not just the icy rain and such so this another thing that I really like about those Inktense products is they are so vibrant it's it's not even yeah it's, it's really amazing how much you or how bright those colors are with that tiny little bit of pigment that you put down. So let's dry this off and then I'm going to bring in a purple. And for the purple, I want the 610, which is a red violet. So I'm just going in with just a little bit of outlines for petals and such. <coughs> Sorry. I don't seem to be able to get rid of that cough that I'm having for a couple of weeks now and it annoys me. It's fine if I'm not talking, <laughs> but on video recording day, it's kind of, um, yeah, troublesome because I have to be talking or I want to be talking here. actually a reason why for this particularly for this week I decided to have two recording days because um, well usually I record one art day and one to multiple beyond the lines videos on Mondays 
because they take quite a long time. Um, uh, they're they're not well. <clears throat> let's let's <laughs> being able to talk. Mm, really difficult today. So I was saying uh, they take a long time to record. That is true because I'm ending an art day video at the two hour mark. Um, you only see the two hour mark videos in on Beyond the Limes as well. But there's a couple of parts of these videos to the bigger um, bigger coloring pages, the bigger sceneries. So it's actually uh, three or four videos that I'm recording on one day instead of just one of the art days. I usually record a couple of them all in one day to have one picture finished. Uh, I'm not doing that with the current one, um, but that was just because I had so many other things to do that I had a little bit of a timing problem uh, on Mondays to have like a 15 hour se session of recording one uh, coloring page from from uh, top to bottom from start to finish um, so with the one that I'm currently working on which will air end of March uh, I actually am working with one video a Monday but I uh, cannot do that on a day like today where I'm still a little well let's say migrainey so I decided because I I'm excuse my French I'm fucked up with my schedule anyway this week so who's yeah it, it's not gonna get any worse so I decided to record on two days, so today and tomorrow, and to give my brain a little free time, so to say. Um, once I have this video down, I'm definitely gonna edit it the same time um, or in the in the same time frame as I would edit my normal art days. But. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm taking a little more care of my brain and give it a little more resting time today. And I'm hoping that the air pressure is a little bit better tomorrow so I can have another full day in the studio. Because the rest of the week I'm pretty booked... Um, with uh, private life and appointments there and going out with people and recording gamers couch and such so i i wouldn't have a lot or if if any time to work on art videos All right so this is done. <coughs> Let's dry this off. And now I'm going to bring in the um, the uh, neo colors. Now you could ask, hold on, I have to put my pencils away. You could ask why I'm not going forward with the ink tens at this point. Uh, the reason being, I want definitely some color there but I don't want it to be as bright I just want it to be a background for the same tone that I use for the apple green that would be the lime green here let me find it here it is so I'm just going to have a little less vibrant and bright kind of a background because I want the the cherry tree to stand out I don't want the uh, the 
background to be on the same level as the foreground. And now I will uh, bring in that lime green and I will incorporate that apple green that I have here. I will incorporate that into my uh, coloring or my painting here. I will liquefy that same pigment here. Go around those blossoms. But I want kind of a, a little more watery kind of a look. Just and that is why I changed up the supply here. Could have gotten away without those green lines actually. So maybe I will do that on the next painting because I have to paint two more of these. Maybe I'm not going to go in with the apple green but just with the uh, pink for the blossoms and then maybe I would also think of adding a blue instead of a green. Have things be a little bit different maybe for each of the cards. It's a really small neighborhood there so I'm going to share the house with three other families and they're quite the tight-knit community so maybe I'm taking the time to have something individual for everybody. Maybe have a little more on the cool purple leaves or blossoms for another card and use the rest of the green that is on my palette here. That would be an idea. Hmm, maybe have one, this one here have ink outlines or have all of them have ink outlines. I have to think about that. There we go. Number one, I will now... Uh, Stop the vlogging camera because I don't need to run down the battery for repetition. But I'm gonna dry this. <coughs> Sorry. And um, then I'm gonna bring in the next paper. Okay. I should definitely mark where things are to be cut here so that I will remember later on because I'm gonna cut off these uh, parts here where the tape did damage the paper a little bit. Um, and now I'm just going to repeat this process but with purple and green so cooler tones more to the yeah more to the bluer part of the spectrum almost like magnolias maybe and not cherry blossom so much so we had oh, let's mark it off right away here so that I don't forget for later we had 12.8 which would be here I'm taking a light yellow pencil because you can hardly see it on the paper and it is easier to erase than a graphite pencil under under this circle or uh, blah ha ha Jesus Christ it's really difficult to talk clearly with that much tongue and teeth in my mouth Jesus Christ 
again. <laughs> it is a little easier to erase under the circumstances here, meaning the kind of paper that I'm working on and such. <coughs> now I have to pick my purples and I want... Doo, doo, doo. I think I would just want one purple and that is the 860. 860. Doo, 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 doo. That would be. Or is it 80? Yeah, it's 80. So yeah, um, where am I? Yeah, Woo! I have to sharpen my pencil. Um, another thing about moving the studio is that I will, um, I have already decided that I will vlog the, um, the move and uh, I will definitely focus on how I set up my new studio. So how I store my supplies and such. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I would definitely focus on that. And have a few videos where I take care of that. That will take a lot of edit time, actually. Because it's, uh, I'm always, now nah, here's a little behind the scenes, which I usually just share in my vlogs. But I think um, that it is appropriate here as well. Uh, I'm usually, uh, every video that I record, I do record in real time. And if there's anything changed in the end when it comes to speed so when you see any time-lapsed parts in say the um, taco clock or when i have a lot of repetition of the same thing that i'm doing in beyond the lines and i'm speeding things up later time-lapsing things that is all done in post-production i don't uh, record in time lapse so it is taking a lot of time of course to then edit the footage and go through all the steps in post-production to get the angles right uh, sometimes um, like for example when we build the lego Star Wars stuff, I did have multiple cameras. And I'm going to do the same thing with the multiple cameras thing. I'm going to do that for anything that is in regards to me moving and documenting, um, documenting that. And when I... Ooh. When I uh, then go to post-production for these videos, they're taking a lot of time to edit, cut, and, well, just have post-production on. So I'm thinking uh, if... Uh, it kind of, well, hmm. <laughs> it actually heavily depends on how fast I move. I mean, I'm definitely going to um, work with a moving company so they can handle a couple of things that I don't want to handle, like building the furniture that I'm moving from here, from this place, all of my shelves and um, cupboards and storage units that I do have in the studio here because I'm almost completely moving my studio. 
um, like in in total, there's uh, let's see one, two, it three items in here that I'm not moving out, but all the rest uh, will go furniture wise from the studio to my new studio and also other parts of my new apartment because uh, I have to rearrange a couple of things or I want to rearrange a couple of things there. <coughs> so I'm definitely going to have a professional moving company in doing that lot. I'm not going to take care of that. But still um, getting all of the boxes emptied and everything sorted and such it takes quite a while last time i moved um i moved our current household and fair enough the next move will be a little faster because i'm just moving my part of the household so i should be able to uh, have everything sorted in one and a half days because the last move, uh, I uh, Daniel had to work. He had to leave for an appointment out of town right away, like the day after we moved. Um, so I, um, uh, I was, uh, well, emptying out all of the boxes and sorting everything and, well, setting up house on my own. And it took me three days. Um, that would mean if math is correct here, that everything serves well in my memory, like how to count and how to, uh, how much I'm moving, uh, quantity wise in comparison to my last move, I should be able to have everything sorted in a day or two. Depends on how early in the morning I'm going to move or when the, when the movers come and if I, uh, if I uh, start emptying boxes the same day or if I just start next day because they just um, moved house with me in the afternoon and such. So it depends, yes. But I should be able to do that However, with cameras involved and having to um, have uh, batteries reloaded or recharged and having SD cards being emptied to the computer and such, I always have half an hour that is... Uh, oh, I should actually start with the brown before I go to the next layer. I always have um, a little more free time quote unquote where I just have to wait for data to be transferred and such so it could be that it takes me a little longer like a couple of hours longer to actually uh, have everything done but we'll see um, I'm gonna take you with me on to the moving part in probably the taco clock videos i haven't decided yet if i'm depends on how much i can work ahead um and on what day in the week i'm actually moving because uh if i cannot record a video ahead for a certain show um then i will probably just cut the moving um thing into I don't know, the art day or beyond the lines or whatever. We'll see. It's, yeah, I'm planning ahead in my, in my head. Like is being unprepared and being um, then run over by the work schedule. Whoop. Wrong, wrong, wrong color. This is the correct purple. Huh. Damn. Um, I don't like to be uh, surprised by oh how quickly Monday comes around for example um, I actually 
I'm pretty good in planning things ahead, scheduling things ahead and making sure that I'm not overwhelmed or that there's many days that are, well, silent on my channel. So I should be, I should be able to um, to uh, talk while I draw, <laughs> which is really difficult, um, by the way. Try it out. It, it doesn't matter if you record it or not, but try to talk while you're actually doing something else, like drawing. <laughs> it's quite difficult. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so... I am uh, actually pretty good at planning things ahead and making sure that I do have videos and such ready and prepared and just to be published when I do have projects uh, going on big projects or when I'm like going on vacation or moving um, to a new apartment and such. So I'm guessing that I will probably have the... Um, the vlog, so the talk o'clock be the show where I will, well, talk about all the new studio setup and such. Because it is actually, the vlog is mainly the behind the scenes in the studio. So only if I really fail or if something goes wrong and I'm, I don't know, getting sick and I cannot work all of the days that I actually would have to work before moving. Only then I will probably um, I will probably uh, have moving footage or studio setup footage on this particular show here. And if I can help not to have that, I will definitely not misuse this show for just showing footage of setting up studio. So I'm just uh, liquefying the second layer of the purple. I did use the same purple as I did for the first layer. But since I am, um, since I'm just quote unquote outlining or having a little bit of a detail here, I can have the paints way more concentrated or the pigment, I should say, have it way more concentrated. And that way um, it looks like I have two different colors that I, or two different pencils that I used here when it actually is just one pencil. It's just a second layer and the way I apply that color. Uh, by the way, if you're curious, the link um, in the description box uh, that says web page, it leads to my blog where there is going to be a blog post for this particular project here. And uh, on that post, you can see close-up photos. And I will have a list of the supplies that I used, including all the numbers on those pencils and such. If you uh, really like the, a certain color combo, for example, and you want to use it on one of your projects, you can just read up <coughs> on the colors there. Now look at those flowers on this particular um, page or painting here and the one that I did before. Uh, I'm definitely thinking I will go for either a gel pen or a, a uh, ink marker to add a little bit of oomph 
uh, in the center of those flowers maybe or the outlines on the pink one um the more i think about it the more i come to the conclusion oh i'm definitely gonna have some markers in the end so um it will yeah it will very likely be um a little more cartoony or illustrationy maybe in the end yeah but let's try this off first and then i can uh use the rest of the green uh from the neo colors to paint in pick, uh, background number two before i choose a blue background for the third painting there we go this is dry okay so i'm taking my brush again and i'm just liquefying the rest of the lime green that I do have on my palette. Boop, 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 boop. And I'm just going, <coughs> sorry, going to paint in a little bit of that green. The cool thing on my new studio is, like I had said earlier, um, the area that I'm moving to is really quiet. So it is pretty much like I would have my window closed like I do now. So that amount of background noise is going to be at my new apartment when I have the windows open. So in the summer, <laughs> I should definitely have a quiet background uh, for filming so that I don't have to apologize for my neighbors having really loud car thing going on. I mean, it was definitely handable here in this studio, but it's even quieter in my new studio. And I have a balcony that goes right off the studio. So that's pretty neat, guys. So uh, I'm going to try this off and then I'm going to bring in uh, painting or paper number three. My new studio will be uh, smaller than my current one, but it, I, I should still be able to, well, not feel cramped in the studio. There's, um, since my current studio has such high uh, ceilings since I'm under the roof, I do actually have a lot of empty space because I can't use it because, well, they're not straight walls, but they are actually a roof at an angle, which I won't have in the new apartment. But it is smaller than my current apartment or my current studio. All right, uh, last drawing, painting. With this one, I'm gonna do the um, the pink flowers and a blue background. Working off. Where I have to cut later. And then it's 12.8. There we go. <coughs> Ok, 
Okay. Ah, da die, da die. Und then on to the final the final stencil use Don't know if I still know the name of the stencil, by the way, because I don't have the packaging anymore. But it is from Viva Decor. I definitely remember that. So if you happen to look at my blog and uh, you see the name for this... Um, for the stencil, you can't find it first try. Uh, you might want to look up all the Viva Decor stencils that have flowers. I think it was called Cherry Blossom, and I'm definitely going to hit the web and check. But I don't have the packaging anymore. I mean, you could just draw those uh, cherry blossoms here on your own. But if you like to work with stencils, because you're maybe working with acrylics or um, with ink pads and uh, blending tools, those little thingamajigs, with the foam on the bottom, I don't know. I, I think they're called pl blending tool, but don't quote me on that. So if you like to use this stencil because you're maybe a card maker, um, and want to well, buy it, it's definitely Viva Decor. I absolutely remember that. But it's been a while. I think it's this stencil is somewhat like four years old maybe so I don't know if they even have that stencil anymore last blossom but yeah I really like it and it did its job and it will soon uh, <laughs> leave my studio because it's actually yeah it's done <coughs> So, starting with the brown again, for the branches and twigs. And now for the pink. I'm going to bring in the dark purple uh, as the second layer. And then I will decide what kind of blue I'm going to use. Am I going to use a warmer tone or more of a almost purplish kind of a very light ultramarine maybe we'll see uh, once I have my uh, second layer of the pink down or maybe I'm just doing the same thing with like that that I just did with um the the purple the 
violet, the bluish violet tone. And I'm just adding a second layer of this pink because that would mean that I would definitely use a mm, bluish, so more of a violet purplish kind of a blue and not uh, something like a turquoisey blue which is more on the warmer part of the spectrum. I would probably then go towards the cooler part of the color spectrum when it comes to the shade of blue. I actually like that idea. So I'm going to apply that idea. I'm having a hair on my shirt. Oh. That's one thing about that I don't like about spring, by the way. Uh, that I almost feel like a dog and I'm shedding so much in autumn and spring. It's ridiculous. I don't like it. <laughs> but well, that's minor, minor obstacles, minor things that bug me. Let's uh, dry this off and then I'm bringing in layer number two. Um, getting the same pencil. Just adding a second layer, drawing in shapes of the petals and such. Very much the same thing that I did with the previous um, painting. I have to sharpen my pencil. Ooh, that was loud. Well, sorry about that. Almost there. And once again, oh, maybe a little more of the brown to have a little more, a little more oomph here because I don't want the brown to get lost with the blue. Um, I think uh, with the green, the lime green that I had used on both of the other backgrounds, the brown stood out well enough, but it might be a little different with the blue, so let's make sure that I'm not losing those 
uh, branches here. Almost there. And then I'm going to hit this with my blow dryer once more while I am already, where is my, there it is, my paper. I'm going to choose the blue meanwhile because multitasking. All right, um, I do have two colors. Uh, three maybe so the ultramarine the sky blue and the light blue where those two are way more on the cooler spectrum than this one is uh, the colors that I chose here are quite cool so I, I would actually go either with the sky blue or the ultramarine and I think the ultramarine actually makes for a nice contrast um, because it is a little less purple than the sky blue so let's find that crayon, ultramarine, there it is. I'm gonna dilute it with water quite a bit because I, I want this to be a very light background. But nonetheless, I'm choosing a um, quite purple-ish blue, but not as purple as the sky blue that could definitely just be called violet i mean there was hardly any blue in there but you know it's just names so whatever quickly giving this one layer and then i'm going to dry this off and Cut the pieces to size and uh, then I'm going to glue them down onto the cards before I bring in the um, ink pens to bring in details and such. I'm probably also going to use uh, gel pens. So gel pens, ink pens, whatever it is that I'm going to add little details and such <coughs> onto this uh, painting. I'm also going to sign that and I'm gonna stamp my Pinselgeschichten stamp onto the back side of, um, of the card. Uh, I'm going to write my note to them later when I actually know the date that I'm moving and the date that I'm gonna have the 
the noise happening at the new house. So I just wanted to be prepared and um, have the cards ready for when I need them. I thought it would be a nice different uh, kind of an art day video. I've been doing so much drawing lately on this show that I thought, well, maybe this is a nice little difference. I'm going to go back to the drawings. Don't, don't worry. Because again, I had said that this year I wanted to um, focus on improving my drawing skills. So that idea is not history. But once in a while I had said that I would do something else. And today is once in a while, it seems. All right, let's dry this off and ooh, then I can cut things. <coughs> there we go. Can we move the tape? And then I can bring in my paper cutter trimmer thing device and cut all of the pieces to size. Number one, and I can then decide if I want to have rounded corners or not. Um, number two, actually, I haven't decided yet if I want to have rounded corners. I mean, it would maybe make this look a little more sophisticated. Um, didn't have a marker here. Do I want rounded corners or not? Let's see. Yeah, I think I want rounded corners. So let's get my chomper and round all those corners. And 300 gram kind of a watercolor paper. Yeah, yeah, I've got to make an effort to get that chomped. Number one. Number two. Well, come on. There we go. And here goes the last one. Next up, I'm going to glue down those bits onto the cards. And put something a little heavy on them to help with the glue. I don't have the double-sided tape anymore. Uh, I have to reorder that. Um, so that would be a very strong adhesive, um, a dry adhesive. So I'm using just normal uh, glue stick here. 
but it should work nonetheless. one and I'm just gonna put my box of washi tapes on top just to um, have some weight on the card while I'm putting together the others Number two, which also goes right under the box. And number three, Et voila. Now, also going to put this card underneath the box to have the weight down. I'm gonna leave that here while I'm going to get uh, my ink pen and gel pens and the stamp for the pinsel geschichten thing and such. And uh, I'm going to take a look at what at what uh, pens I want to use from that. I think I'm just going with a white gel pen and a nice black marker, a fine one. Let's have some test paper. What are you? Yeah, your test paper now. Hmm, that could be one. Are you you're just as wide? Hmm. Also just as wide as the others. Yeah, you could work. Definitely need the gel pen. Do I maybe need other gel pens like pink or purple? I'm gonna just put them out. Maybe I'm gonna use them, maybe I won't. <coughs> Sorry. But I can take the first card now, one that I had done or had glued first. The things can go here, you can still see. 
There we go. Um, for this one, I think I just want a little bit of detail here on those blossoms in the middle. Just a bit. On the open ones, not all of the others here. that are partially closed or uh, away from the viewer. There we go. Now I need a little bit of the paper to activate my gel pen. I just want to have a few little white dots here on those centers. So it almost looks like little stems or with pollen or whatever. And one more. There we go. And I can sign this particular one. And <coughs> have my stamp on there. I could actually, for that part, activate the vlogging camera because now all the repetition is done and I have a little more footage than for the vlog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not only great at counting, but it actually um, makes for a nice crisp ink transfer if you give it time to actually transfer to the other paper. That's why I'm counting to 10 when, uh, when I am stamping things. For this one here, um, I want to do, <coughs> sorry, stuff a little different because um, I had those green lines here. So I'm working with uh, ink outlines in this particular one. Just to cover up some of the outlines. Give it a little bit of definition and shape to these blossoms. By controlling how much pressure I apply when I uh, draw with this pen, I get thicker lines or thinner lines.
Now with this one here, I think, hmm, I want white gel pen, no, not the pink one. Do I want the purple gel pen? Hmm, no, I think I still want the white one. No, I'm actually too lazy to get up now and get my other many, many gel pens. Not drawing in the stems this time because I do have the black outlines. But I want uh, just a little bit of a uh, detail and a little bit of oomph. So I am drawing in those white little dots here. There we go. Again, I'm going to. Oh, First, I have to sign. Didn't work too well, but well, but well, but well, but well, but well. <laughs> if something doesn't work as well, oh well. Yeah, it happens, folks. <coughs> In giving it time to transfer onto my craft paper. And uh, then I'm going to take care of the final card. And that will be that then. It's, uh, again, not, today is not the day that I'm going to write down the notes for my new neighbors. We'll do that later. But, yeah. Hmm. What am I gonna do for you? Do I have another gel pen color that I maybe want to use? Maybe a blue color? Oh, I have a very light rose color. Hmm. I could have used that earlier. Yeah, but it is actually kind of pinkish too, so I'm not going to use that. Uh, decisions, decisions, folks. I like the, I kind of like the white. Do I want the purple? It's too red of a purple. So no, <laughs> I want the white instead. Might be a little boring, but well, I, again, I'm just too lazy to get up. And... Uh, get some other gel pen colors and I'm not going to use the the um, black marker here I think no I'm not so every little painting though they are quite similar they're not the same so I'm saying hello to every family individually there at the new house. Now I'm signing this again. <coughs> One last time I'm going to stamp this. Hello, stamp pad, please cooperate. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. There we go. And this is it for today. These are all the cards. Let's uh, get them all into display. There they are, three spring cards <coughs> for my soon-to-be neighbors. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching along today on this little different 2018 kind of a project. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Again, I'm going to have the materials that I used in close-up photos on the vlog, uh, on the blog with B, not V, with a V, on the blog. If you want to check that out, the link to my webpage is in the description box below, as is any link to the social media sites that I um, that I use, so Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, you can take a look there. I'm going to be back next Monday with a new video, and uh, I would love for you to give this uh, video a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please follow. There is a little button that says that on this wonderful new home of Inselgeschichten called Vimeo, that uh, you can follow me there um, and be notified whenever I release new videos. So take good care, have fun, and have a wonderful week, have a wonderful day, and uh, do something artsy. Do something nice for you. It's, that's an order. Do something that you like, at least for 10 minutes, guys. So take good care, have fun. Bye-bye.